Shalom, shalom, shalom. Israel giving no praise to Yahweh. Bashim Yahusha, Bashim Machakadash. The one who said, I'll just give you a message. Who else I teach you? I come out there pushing this word of truth and sincerity, risking your freedom and your life to do so. Um, Back with another video. Pretty much, um, you know, how things are happening now in today's world that, um, of course, always alludes to prophecy and what's going on and what the scripture said was going to happen in the end times. And basically, as you can see from the title, food prices is on a, on a, on a, on a soar, meaning, you know, it's going to cost you more to survive, you know, and it becomes a problem because now the Lord is hitting the pocketbook of everybody worldwide, especially those of the quote-unquote first world countries, you know. So we're just going to jump straight into it. This is um from RT.com. Greeks spending less on basics. Now, basics meaning, you know, what you need, you know, toiletries, toothpaste, soap, um, food, uh, you know what I'm saying? Things, just things of that nature. They're spending less because they just don't have it anymore, you know? And everything is going up. So it says consumers are cutting back on necessities and made record high Eurozone inflation. It says 7 out of 10 consumers in Greece have been forced to cut down on spending on food and other essentials according to the market research data published this week. Nearly half of the respondents said they had reduced their purchases in supermarkets by a lot and enough. And 25% said they now buy a little less. <laughs> Amna state news agency reported citing figures from market research company Neutrino the first time we are seeing such a large scale shopping decline in supermarkets there's a huge decline in consumer purchases for basic necessities food and household items see and it says uh, when it comes to shopping for clothes and footwear 81 percent of respondents have reduced their purchases by a lot and enough making the situation dramatic. Calm Ninos added, only 15% of Greek households said they had sufficient income <coughs> to put aside for savings, the research suggests. See, even 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 their households, they can't save. You know what? Living paycheck to paycheck, you barely able to get by. You know what I'm saying? You're struggling more. So it says, um, the figures come as inflation in the Eurozone hit a record high of 7.4 in March, according to an estimate released on Thursday by Eurostate, the European Union Statistics Agency. Greece is one of the poorest Euro countries and suffered the most during the 2001 financial crisis. Athen was bailed out by the Euro and the IMF was led to years of sturdy measures and economic hardship. Right, the IMF, that's like doing a deal with the devil. International Monetary uh, Fund. That's controlled by um, Esau Edom. That's like doing a deal with Satan himself. Because he bails you out with debt. And there's no way you pay it off. And then they collect the interest on the payments that you... Essentially, would never be able to get out of debt. You see, that's how Esau works, you see? But as a result, food prices skyrocket. He says, um, and we're going to get another another article, and then we're going to get a scripture. One second, bear with me. It says, um, this is from CBS News, cbsnews.com. And CBS, they have a few gems in here, you know what I'm saying? I'm not uh, completely against, 
you know, uh, quote unquote mainstream media, but you just got to filter, you know, chew the meat, spit the bones. So it says, um, CBS News, sorry shoppers, food prices are likely to keep rising. Here's why. Industry data shows that Americans are spending more on food than before the pandemic. And in a signs of the times that is driving up food prices amid the sharpest bout of inflation in the U.S. in 40 years. Customer demand continues to outpace our ability to supply products. Tyson Foods, Tyson Foods CEO Donnie King told a quarterly earnings call in February. Tyson's average sale price for the quarter rose nearly 20% compared to a year ago, helping the meat company recoup higher costs, including for our labor and transportation. Americans are paying 10% more for food they buy at the grocery store than a year ago. So like it was a typo. But beef prices are rising 16% federal data shows. Factoring in both grocery store and restaurant purchases, food prices in March were up nearly 9% from a year ago amid surging dem- demand over the last year. According to the BOFA securities analyst, Alexander Lynn. Americans are eating more than they did in the past, which had constrained retail inventories. He said in the report, that, yeah, because um, the obesity rate in America is through the roof, you know. Most people don't know how to skip a meal. See, me personally, I do something called intermittent fasting, you know. Uh, I might stop eating around 7, and um, I won't eat till the next day around, you know, 11, 12 in the afternoon. But sometimes even more, you know what I'm saying? It just depends. I'm not really usually hungry in the morning anyway. Most Americans believe in a, oh, six meals a day, six small meals. And it really ain't even small. And then it's a whole bunch of sugar and oil, sugar, fat, and oil. And the meals they do eat, instead of eating the apple, they eating, you know, chips or, you know what I'm saying, fries, something fried, you know. So now people are eating more, you see? which is putting a strain on retail and inventories. Americans are fat as hell and lazy. They said Reno, Lent also expects Russia's invasion of Ukraine to lead to sustained prices, price increases in the U.S. later this year and in 2023. While most of what Americans spend on food has more to do with marketing and other expenses unrelated to U.S. farms, costs are still rising up and down the supply chain, Lynn noted. The, culture of, uh, the cost of agricultural chemicals such as fertilizers, pesticides has risen 50, uh, risen 50% over the past year. War Ukraine adding further pressure as Russia is a major export of nitrogen, pa- uh, potassium, and phosphorus fertilizer. Uh, it's a little bit more, but I'm not going to read the rest. Just trying to stay on proper time. Um, second Ezra. 16 verse 14 behold the plagues are sent and should not return again uh, again until they have come upon the earth verse 15 the fire is kindled and should not be put out till they consume the foundation of the earth and jump to 18 the beginning of sorrows and of great mornings the beginning of famine and great death the beginning of wars and the power should stand in fear in the beginning of evil, what shall I do when the evil should come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourge of a full amendment. Right, because uh, this world is wicked as hell. They don't follow the commandments of the Heavenly Father, the commandments of the Bible. So therefore, the world is going to be punished. And right now, it's not a full-fledged famine. But when people can't afford certain things, what happens? Price goes up and it, it turns into a famine. People start robbing people for food, man. Forget jewelry, they start taking people's food. Stealing people's food, man. And this is all orchestrated by the Heavenly Father through uh, Esau Edom, the elites. Bringing, bringing chaos to, to then bring order, you see? Uh, verse 21 is the point I wanted. But whole victuals should be so good cheap upon earth, they should think themselves to be in good case. Right, victuals meaning food. You know, food used to be real cheap. You know what I'm saying? You go to the grocery store, 
you can afford it, you know what I'm saying? It would cost me $100, could buy you, you know, a month, maybe two weeks to a month uh, worth of groceries for a family of uh, four, you know? Now, <clears throat> $100, you can spend on lunch or a night out, you see? Money don't stress as far as it used to, man. And said, even then, so the evil was going upon the earth, swore famine and great confusion. And that's exactly what's going on right now, man. So this is a little article what's going on, man. Uh, obviously, things are getting bad, and the elect is going to have to feel the pain also, the pinch. But it's all good, man, because we know the end goal. So with that, I say shalom.